So you can also create dual buttons within your community. They have the same functionality that you saw with the single button, except there's two of them. So let's go take a look at how you create one of these buttons. I'm going to go back to the Component Pack homepage, select New, I'm going to select the type of dual button. I'm going to give it a configuration name. I can select in the path or I can select Next. Each one of these steps will do a little bit more configuring the component. And now I need to add text. So I'm going to say this one's called left. This one's called right. This one's a brand button. The other one's neutral. I can change these however I want. And I'm just going to leave that as a base button. Neutral button, actually. I can set the URL. So let's just say I wanted this one to go home. This one I wanted to go to contact us. I can set text above. And I can set the helper text. You can see it's previewing it as soon as I start typing. You can see it right there. Everything I just entered is right there. I have a wide variety of formatting options about color, width, height, any font size, anything I really want to set. I can do that and component spacing. And then the last item is just the start and end date. Start date would be default to the when you save it first. End date is not set. So you can set this to come up in a week and end a week later. All you have to do, when, you don't have to remember to do anything else in your community, except at some point then you'll probably want to pull the component off. But the user will only see when you set your start date and end dates if they're defined. And that is the dual button.